Robert Foster, Missionary to Africa. Week 1. Charles and June Foster were missionaries in Zambia, Africa in the early 1900s. Their son, Robert Bob Foster, was born in 1924 in an African village. They didn't have very many doctors in Africa. The closest one to the Fosters was 300 miles away, and it would take a long time to get there if someone in the family was sick. Before Bob was born, his older sister Mabel died, and his older brother Edgar became disabled because they didn't have a doctor close enough to help them. Charles and June prayed that Bob would grow up to be a missionary doctor, a doctor like the one Mabel and Edgar needed, and that he would live close to the village. Bob was just a little boy when his mother said, Charles, should we think about leaving Africa? A doctor is too far away. She was afraid that Bob and his older brother Harold would get sick. She also wanted the boys to go to school, and there weren't any schools where they lived. But Bob's parents also knew there were many people in Africa who needed to hear about Jesus, God's son, who loved them and died for their sins. Leaving Africa would mean they wouldn't be able to tell these people the most important and best news in the world, that Jesus had come to save them. After praying to God and asking for wisdom, the Fosters decided to stay in Africa and continue to tell the good news about Jesus. They would trust God to help them serve, even in hard times but they still wanted Harold and Bob to be safe and to go to school. They continued to pray for wisdom. One day, they learned about a special home in Canada where missionary children could live safely and go to school. It was called Gowan's Home. When Bob was four years old and Harold ten, the Fosters took them to Gowan's Home. Their brother Edgar couldn't stay at the school because he needed extra care. His parents would keep him with them in Zambia, Africa. There were many tears when Charles and June had to leave the boys and return to Africa, but they knew it was the right thing to do. Even though Bob and Harold didn't get to see their parents very often, they would get letters filled with their parents' adventures in Africa. Bob missed his parents very much, but he knew they loved him and missed him too. Bob also had God with him to help him in the hard times. When Bob thought about his parents, he imagined himself as a great missionary one day. He wanted to tell people about Jesus, but he also wanted to take care of sick people. He dreamed of being a missionary doctor. One day, Bob learned he was going to have some very special visitors at Gowan's home. Who could they be? We'll find out next week.